So uh, here's a quick look at the Catabatic uh, Bristle Cone Bivy Bag or Bivy Sack uh, or even little Bivy Tent, depends on what you want to talk about it being. For those of you that aren't particularly used to this kind of setup, um, it's basically designed to go just round um, a sleeping bag or in this case I'm using a quilt and a padded mattress uh, and the idea is that it gives you a fast and light option um, for camping. Um, I think there are two reasons to use this kind of setup. The first and most obvious one is if you are on a multi-day, fastest known time, through hike, that kind of thing where you need to keep weight at an absolute premium and when you're often camping late at night when you're tired, you can literally just unroll this and if you're lazy like me, literally keep the quilt inside it when you roll it up, roll it out and get straight in and go to sleep. So it gives you an incredibly quick setup for sleeping, for having a quick two hours power nap, that kind of thing. But I think the thing that people miss out on with bivvies is that opportunity to cowboy camp or to just sleep out, you know, in the stars. So I'm gonna sleep out in it tonight. And you get an opportunity to sleep in the woods in a way that you don't necessarily get um, if you're inside a tent where you don't really have a view all night. And so if you are like me, one of those people that does kind of like to look up and look at the stars as you go to sleep, this is kind of a great way to do that. I'm filming this just as we're coming into the fall or autumn, as us British people would say. So the evenings are getting a bit cooler, the air's getting a bit damper. So there's a tendency for dew to form uh, and it's to be rather wet at night. So the advantage of having a bivy over slimming, sleeping out just with a, uh, a blanket or a a quilt is that it's going to keep moisture off you or off the inside of your gear you're sleeping in but it's also made of a material in this case pertex which means it's breathable so moisture you're generating as you're sleeping is coming out but you're not getting the damp uh, of the air and the dew in the morning just forming on all your gear you're just getting it forming on the outside of the bivy which you can then shake when you set up uh, it packs up incredibly small literally just a bit bigger than my fist uh, and this setup uh, the bivy itself weighs literally, I think, seven ounces. Um, I'm not particularly tall, um, so there's plenty of room at the end for me to put my backpack as well if I want to. And they have various sizes if you're taller, so you've still got that option. Um, a couple of the features I really like on this bivy, you can see there are tie options at the front and the back, which means you can just keep the bivy bag off your head and just off your feet, which makes it feel a little bit more like a micro tent and a little bit less like you're just sleeping in a giant waterproof rain jacket. Um, you've got a base on this that's very water resistant, so you're gonna avoid having moisture come up through the ground. But obviously you're gonna try and look for a relatively good place to stealth camp or camp. And you can see I've chosen a location here that's um, rather elevated, uh, a little bit away from water. So it's unlikely that I'm gonna get wet sleeping here or have a stream go past me. The top of it is breathable, and I would say is kind of splash proof and super lightweight but this is not a bivy bag to sleep out in absolute torrential driving rain. You will get wet. The zip here is not rubberized and deliberately there is a bit that zips up here over your head that gives you a bug net. And obviously you would get rain on your face if it's raining. The idea of this bivy is it's really to sleep out in relatively good weather um, and maybe the odd light little rain shower, but not to be out in torrential rain. However, if you are out in the torrential rain, if you're using the tie-ons at either end, it's really easy to run a piece of cord across the top and put a tarp now over the top just to keep the rain off you. So that's kind of the idea of this. I think this will also be quite um, appealing to people that do mountain climbing or sleep out in places that are, there's not a lot of space to set up a tent or it's difficult to. Features wise, inside, well, actually, I'll start with the outside. There's a few little loops here for putting additional pegs in if you want to make it into more of a kind of tent, make it a little bit more secure, but I don't really think it's necessary. Nice feature I saw in here is it has some yellow bungees to help hold your mattress in place so I can have a nice quilt over the top to help keep me warm. I've actually matched it with one of the Catabatic um, 900 fill quilts for this evening. Um, and the zip zips up to create a bug net here over your face just to keep the flies and the insects off you which is nice but obviously if you're not near a water source unfortunately I am so it's going to be a bit buggy tonight um, you can roll this right back and kind of hobo camp with it um, other than that there's not a lot to really talk about um, so to summarize most people see these as a kind of emergency shelter or a quick and dirty shelter and I would agree that is what it is um, but I think 
you're also missing the point that this is gives you the opportunity to sleep under the stars to not get particularly damp and have that kind of bigger connection with nature if that's what you're after um, i also think this would be a massively useful piece of kit for people that set fastest known times where they're out for multiple days perhaps unsupported but they don't want to be spending carrying you know four pounds five pounds of tent and kit um, as someone that has quite a few fastest known times that are you know 100 miles and above I kind of like this kind of setup because I can be hyper lazy leave everything inside this roll it up in one go and when I'm exhausted and just need to sleep I can literally roll it out and crash so um, there you go that's a super quick look uh, it's made by Catabatic it's called the Bristlecone uh, Bivy and uh, it's really quite an impressive piece of kit if you understand exactly what it's been designed for.